Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. First of all, got to say commiserations going out to our Arsenal contingent of Lauren Koscielny and also Olivia Giroud, who made it to the final yesterday of the Euros, but unfortunately beaten in the final by Portugal. Congratulations going out to Portugal. I, you know, I'm really pleased for Portugal, as a matter of fact. You know what I mean? A nation that's given us so much in football, so many great players. They're great fans. They really do deserve to have won something, and it's great that Portugal won it. But commiserations going out to the Arsenal lads. Let's hope they come back to the club stronger. It was really nice. I love this... Uh, message that Mesut Ozil sent to uh, the Arsenal boys uh, of Lauren Koscielny and Giroud telling them to keep their chin up. <laughs> That's like not a very German word to say, is it? You keep your chin up. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's writing his tweets. But listen, regardless of that, it's brilliant um, from Mesut Ozil. And uh, let's hope that the boys come back stronger. Now down to business, transfer business. Now, what about a player that was playing last night? Musa Sissoko. This guy's been amazing in this tournament. Last night, on the French side, forget about Pogba, forget about Griezmann, he was the best player on the pitch. Some of the runs he made were unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. We've seen him do that as well for Newcastle, and listen, he's available right now. Newcastle, of course, relegated at the end of last season. Musa Sissoko, still only 26, and as I said, put in a brilliant performance last night, and not just last night, throughout the Euros, he played really, really well, came into the team, retained his place. And Arsene Wenger, even before the game, was been bigging Sissoko up, saying that, you know, he's a fantastic player. He really, really likes the way he's dynamic and runs at players, etc. And Sissoko would probably be available for around about 10 to £15 million, which is an absolute steal. Remember a couple of months ago, he uh, did a story where he said that the club that he loved to go and sign for is Arsenal. That's where he loved to play his football. Why not? 10 to 15 million pounds. I mean, listen, I know, I thought that they were being a bit harsh on him last night as well on the TV. It's almost like, oh yeah, but he hardly ever does that. No, last season he was pretty poor. We know that. But the seasons before, every time I see Sissoko when he's come up against Arsenal, when I've seen Sissoko, he's been a top player. And for 10 to 15 million pounds, remember, we offloaded the three midfielders in Riziki. Um, we, we offloaded, you know, uh, I've forgotten their names now. <laughs> it's, it's that bad that I've forgotten their names already. No, Flamini, you know, we offered, offloaded Arteta. Why not bring in Sissoko? No brainer. He wants to play for Arsenal. He play under Arsene Wenger. 10 to 15 million pounds. I mean, I don't know if it's just me talking. What do you guys think? I know we, you're going to say we've got loads of midfielders. We signed one midfielder, by the way, and we've got rid of three. What do you guys think? I'm going to put it to a poll. Would you have Sissoko at Arsenal? Yes or no? Let me know in the poll. An interesting um, development yesterday is that of Maro Icardi. Now, Maro Icardi is a very, very good player. Plays for Inter Milan. Uh, 23 um, years old. And he's the captain of Inter Milan as well. And a real talisman for the Inter Milan team. Uh, scored 16 goals in 33 appearances last year. Remember, he's scoring that in the Italian league. Probably the hardest league to score loads of goals in because of the, the, the real good defences there. Now, his wife, who's also his agent, that's a bit dodgy, right? But his wife, who's also his agent, came out yesterday and said that um, Inter Milan are willing to sell him. They want to sell him. All the reports beforehand have always been that Inter Milan are not selling him or hold on to him at all costs. She's come out and said they're willing to sell him. They want to finance some big moves and they're willing to sell Icardi. Um, favourites to sign him are Atletico Madrid. Tottenham have also been in the frame over the um, past couple of months. Arsenal, at one time, uh, we were told, uh, I think it was in, a, I mean, one of the January transfer windows, put in like a deadline day bid for him, which was turned down. Why not go back in for Icardi? Probably costs around about 38 million to maybe 40 million. Good player, up and coming, young. I think it's the sort of player that would be quite exciting at Arsenal. Very different to Olivia Giroud. Very quick. A very good finisher. Mauro Icardi. That's another option out there now for, for Arsene Wenger. Let's see what happens, what they do. Because as I said on yesterday's show, this is a big week now. The Euros are gone. No more distractions. Teams are getting down to pre-season. What 
is Arsene Wenger going to do? What are the moves going to be? And Mauro Icardi, as I said, to me represents decent value. Young player, exciting player. Why not? Another player that's emerged today. Now, these uh, links, I kind of knew this was going to be coming. Is for Karim Benzema. Benzema linked again today with Arsenal. Now, we saw reports yesterday that um, Real Madrid turned down a massive bid from Chelsea, apparently, for Alvaro Morata. A lot of reports coming out of Spain is that Real Madrid are going to keep hold of Morata. They want to keep hold of him. They don't want to sell him. He was playing for Spain, did well, scored three goals. And they're thinking, one of our own, let's keep him in the team. This has led to rumours that they may be willing to offload Karim Benzema. Uh, Benzema now is 28. Scored loads of goals last year again. I think he scored about 28 goals again last year for Real Madrid. Um, they'd be likely to get at least about £30 million pounds for him, even with his age. And of course, we're being told as well that Real Madrid are really interested in trying to finance a deal to bring in um, Paul Pogba. And we know that United are after him. Real Madrid interested in him. The price is going to be around about or up towards £100 million. Pounds, so it's going to be very expensive. So they may be willing to offload Benzema. Those are the rumours. I'm not sure about this. I kind of think that they keep hold of Benzema and maybe have Morata in there as well. Although a lot of the talk is that Morata's saying, if I stay, I don't want to play second fiddle and you can understand that the guy wants his career to grow um he's been playing second fiddle at a lot of different clubs and now he wants to establish himself he's burst into the spanish team so whether that will happen or not i mean if benzema became available i'm sure arsene wenger again would be interested in him although there's still that whole controversial sex tape stuff that's still to all really play out so would he touch him but certainly benzema is a top class player I mean, uh, I saw the chance yesterday that Gignac had, probably even the chance that uh, Giroud had, is the sort of chances that Benzema gobbles up. He is a grade above those guys. So, Karen Benzema, could he be back on that Arsenal radar if all of this comes to fruition? As I said, my personal feelings on it is that Real Madrid are going to hold on to Benzema. They just won the, you know, they've just won the Champions League. And again, they'll be really aware that there's not loads and loads of great strikers out there. But let's wait and see what happens with that one. Could be quite interesting. Nevin Subotic, uh, been linked heavily with a move to Middlesbrough. He's apparently even been shown around the ground in Middlesbrough. But uh, a lot of talk is saying that Subotic is holding out for a move to Arsenal. Uh, available for about £12 million. Only still 27, which was, I was surprised by that. I thought he was uh, a little bit older than that Subotic. But apparently Subotic... Would be up for a move to Arsenal. There were even some reports suggesting that he's going to have a medical at Arsenal. Again, I'm not sure about that. I, the the Subotic thing, if he does go to Middlesbrough, all right, it's a step down, massive step down from Dortmund. But a guy of his age, he wants to play football each and every week. And I'm sure Middlesbrough are going to pay him a good wedge as well. So Subotic, again, a bit loose for me. Let's see what happens with that one. Um... Let's get into what you guys are. You guys are still sending in um, your videos and letting me know who you'd like. Let's get into a couple of those and keep sending them in. By the way. Hey Robbie, Arsenal should sign a striker, and I think Alexander Lacazette is the best option. He's a prolific goal scorer, and we also need a centre back. And I think Costas Manolas is the best option. He's young and very good. Hi Robbie. Well, I think we need to buy as a defender. I think we need to get Marquinhos from PSG. And as a striker, I think we need to get Higuain because he's free from the Muppy. So there you hear a couple of guys and their suggestions. The one thing that everybody keeps talking on about is a striker. That's what we want. Icardi would be a great striker for Arsenal, I think. This Icardi, Lacazette, Lukaku, this guy's out there. Is Arsenal Wenger going to get it done? I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to dress back from my little sort of rages and rants and be a bit patient this week and see what sort of moves that Arsene Wenger makes. By the way, anybody who's um, got in contact with us about sponsoring the trip to the USA and Scandinavia, thanks for everyone who's got in contact. You do need to get back now and get some dough in. All right, thanks very much. And I've decided that the person who gives the most, I'm going to give them these boots. All right, 
These boots have been signed by Olivia Giroud, uh, Puma Boots, right? So the person who donates the most to that, they'll give you something back. We're going to give something to everyone who donates, actually, but for the person who donates the most, these, these are mine as well, you know? I don't even really want to let these go, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them, right? Olivia Giroud's boots. No, you get a pair of my boots and I'll just sign them up. No, Olivia Giroud's boots, all right? They'll be on their way to you for the person who donates the most. Remember, the email address is below. Uh, one more day to go on that, and then we're going to close that off. All right? So thanks for watching the show today, and we'll be back around about the same time tomorrow. Arson, get busy.